EA Sports. It's in the game. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a rather uh, u unique way of alternative programming. I'm your host, Jack Wars. Last time, we retrospective... We were, uh, excuse me. We did a franchise on the we did a franchise retrospective on the Minecraft franchise while also showing some builds over in the Gaming Master Guys's creative realm there. And uh, this time we're gonna change things up in the gameplay, uh, in, which in the background this is NBA Live 2003. Yeah, I'm totally um, kind of emulating this. Never mind, just getting the official game. I'll just just do it this way just to even get you guys gameplay of this um yeah we're gonna play some ball here that's gonna be in the background for this uh, commentary because uh our topic for this week we're gonna be doing franchise retrospectives on three franchises final fight banjo and arms I did say last time we would throw in uh arms final fight dragon quest and tekken but uh, those last two I mentioned, Dragon Quest and Tekken, we'll just save them for another video. Because, um, and throw in Banjo, because I forgot to, in this list of mine, uh, throw in a few franchises, including Banjo, Mr. Uh, Mr. Game & Watch, and well, the Game & Watch series, WarioWare and Rob. Those are some other franchises that I'll get into sometime right after Dragon Quest and Tekken. So, uh, the reason I chose gameplay of NBA Live 2003 the, 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 excuse me. the music in this game is top notch we got some vocals here that aren't copyright claimed well there's no content ID if you use them in your videos it's awesome Snoop Dogg is pumping in you know that fire but anyways um more about the gameplay we're gonna be um just doing some practice uh, doing some practice hoops with Sh Shaquille O'Neal and we're gonna get in, get in the reps and maybe um, maybe throw in a few uh, full court shots because uh, every time I play basketball whether it be a free play and such this is what I do I maybe hit a few uh, a few free throws three pointers some layups but then you know you want to you want to get the big boy shots you want to go full court and <laughs> And with some close friends back in PE class, of course, when we have a, a ball and a hoop, then that's what I was going for. I'm going for the full court. Fortunately, um, you know, the PE teacher was hella nice with you know, being a, I, I feel like um, the PE teacher could have just been all like, hey, you can't full court. And that's going to hurt somebody. But fortunately, you know, nobody was around. I did a pretty good job on, on when to do the full court shot, not do it while there's somebody nearby the hoop. Anyways, um, that's my ramble on the gameplay. It's just going to be me montaging me doing some free play with Shaq and getting him to <laughs> getting him to get some free throws and three pointers even though it's not his speciality his his speciality in the NBA was dunking okay um, getting to this first franchise Final Fight not really much to say about Final Fight from my perspective uh, pretty much just copy and paste what I said about uh, Street Fighter I mean, maybe played it a handful of times I wouldn't be surprised if say I played this on say a computer in the same way I played maybe Street Fighter back in uh, early days of high school maybe late days of high school as well so not much to maybe I saw a few arcade cabinets at some uh, airport flights long ago that um, had Final Fight on it there's also that uh, really all I can say about Final Fight is um, around the time when uh, at the time when uh, Terry Bogart got announced for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. That was for sure something pretty spectacular. At, uh, right before that time, uh, we got a whole lot of uh, new characters and new uh, rep representative franchises like um, Dragon Quest, uh, Persona, and all that. We're getting a lot of uh, new characters. And to see like an old school character come to Smash at that time, that was very, very interesting. Um, and when it, when um, the DLC for Terry in Smash Ultimate finally came out, um, he was a rather interesting character, along the likes of uh, Ryu when he came out for Smash 4, but I feel um, he was a lot more interesting than Ryu. He had a lot more moves to pull off from um, the Power Geyser and the Buster Wolf are some of my favorite moves to use. 
um, for sure use as men throw out as many of those two attacks as possible once you reach 100% because there's some powerful moves that can give you a lot of damage if you can connect those. Um, around the time, so going into when um, in my game club, this was a few, a few weeks after Terry came out for Smash Ultimate, so we're talking maybe 2019, around that. Whatever time the Terry Boger DLC came out, um, a lot of my, uh, a lot of the um, club members around that uh, were also getting into playing Terry Boger. I remember this one guy who was, uh, <laughs> he had some very good impersonations of, uh, of Terry. Well, maybe not, it's not spot on, but um, it was something. It was fun. Him just um, shouting out Busta Wolf and Power Geyser whenever he pulls it off. And especially when, when Terry does his uh, final smash and and um, he uses, <laughs> he, he pretty much does all that too um, during the final smash. I'm also going to mention the Power Dunk. That's also a fun move. Really, um, the, the fact that he just shouts out the names of the attacks while he's doing them, that's... Um, it really gives Terry a, a good charm, uh, you know, in my eyes, and and that's why I'm out of all the characters in Fighters Pass One. As much as I would say for this next franchise, I'm about to say that would be the the best character from that pack. Personally, I want to say uh, just playability wise, I like Terry, the cups of, on him a lot more than Banjo Kazooie. That's something. And that's gonna segue ourselves right into this next uh, franchise, Banjo. This is um another one of those um, old school fighters that got into uh, Smash Ultimate via the Fighters Pass One. But um to begin my tale on Banjo Kazooie, um, I remember having some friends of my mom's that would come over and. Uh, Banjo-Kazooie and Mario Party 2, those are some games that they brought over uh, that we played on our N64. We mainly, that day, played uh, Mario Party 2, but noticed uh, Banjo-Kazooie. I think uh, the, my mom's friend's kid also uh, booted up Banjo-Kazooie to show uh, the game a little bit. But um, I didn't really think too much about Banjo-Kazooie. Um, in its heyday, uh, you want to... The games that really stuck out to me from Rareware were um, Conker's Bad Fur Day, Donkey Kong 64, and Diddy Kong Racing. Banjo Kazooie, just if, if you believe this, it, it's it wasn't my game on the, my radar that came from Rare. Even though uh, Banjo Kazooie, mainly the first game, has been praised as one of the best 3D platformers ever made. It it's up there with the likes of uh, Super Mario 64. That's how good the game was, and. And to me, I never really got that interested in Maybe it was because I was a bit spoiled by Conker's Bad Fur Day and, and how um, um, how much extra flavor you get from Conker's Bad Fur Day as compared to Banjo-Kazooie. So in short, I really didn't grow up with Banjo-Kazooie, but that doesn't mean I can't respect uh, the countless amount of people that uh, enjoy uh, Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, not just the first game, but the sequel, Banjo Tooie. And for better or for worse, uh, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. I'm sure there's some glimmers of uh, brilliance in Nuts and Bolts, but it's more infamous on things that the game didn't do. And really, um, how uh, Rareware just met its downfall as soon as uh, Microsoft uh, purchased uh, Rareware uh, at the dawn of the new millennium. That was a very big disappointment, and Banjo was uh, the IP alongside with Conker's Bad Fur Day that uh, went uh, to Microsoft. And really a shame that uh, um, you know that the hot streak ended once um, Banjo Kazooie left uh, Nintendo like that. And so now, if you want to enjoy Banjo Kazooie, you want to um, you know, just get rare replays. Maybe emulate the game if really you have no other chance or other option to play the game. If you don't want to get an Xbox One or an Xbox Series X, which I believe that's also available for, then there's always that emulation. Heck, that's how I'm supplying the gameplay for you guys. Me just trying to throw... I'm just constantly trying to get these full court shots with uh, Shaquille O'Neal over here. Well, we're trying. <laughs> While the sun's still out, we'll... Uh, We'll get these full court shots with Shaq. 
But um, that's all I got for the banjo uh, or fan trash ret retrospective. One more for this video. And that's arms. Now, I don't really think too much about arms. Um, this was supposed to be the uh, the killer app for the Nintendo Switch. There's a fly flying around here. So if you hear a little buzzing, then that's why I need to get a fly swatter and and take him down. So apologize for the buzz, buzz, buzz. Uh, it sounds more like a bee. But regardless, um, arms. I did not pick up that game when it first dropped. I'm my eyes were set on. Um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Splatoon 2 as my uh, launch titles to get while uh, the while I had my Switch. I mean, really, um, if you get it in September 2017, it's more of just waiting for Mario Odyssey to come out. Heck, even <laughs> I had Sonic Forces on, on my radar back then. But um, back to Arms. Um, I'd have to wait until my nephew uh, came over to town one day. And they had arms, and we played it for a little bit. My first um, experience playing arms wasn't very great. I had to play with the Joy Cons, I believe. And um, like from where I was sitting, from where the Switch was and the TV, I was really far away, and the Joy Cons were disconnecting from the Switch. And then a lot of my oh, we got a free throw. I'm gonna get some free throws here. A lot of my um, hits weren't registering, and just wasn't a very pleasant time. So. Uh, it's um it's a unique fighting game on its own right. It's a 3D fighting game, long range fighting game. Usually most fighting games are up close and stuff. But um, I kind of wish that Arms had a few more uh, updates or something that to really um keep uh, the player base going because um once it's one of those games where once um a month or two pass, then there's not really much to to go on by and just continue to play. You could throw in some events like Mario Kart Deluxe does with the North American Opens, but nah, I take that back. You're gonna do a lot, you're gonna need to do a lot more than just that. But um, honestly, I hold arms in the same regards as I do with the the Pokin, uh, with the Pokin. Uh, with it being on the Switch, it's just um, it's an alright game, but um. Not enough to hold my interest personally. So we didn't have a whole lot to a lot of time to discuss about some arms. That's really all I got. But um we're gonna wrap up this alternative programming since we got a few full court shots. I think a total of seven. No no actually six. It's a total of six free throws with Shaquille O'Neal. I guess we're trying to destroy the backboard in celebration. So Let's end this commentary off right. Thank you for watching this alternative programming. Oh, just one more free throw uh, before the end of the road. Thank you for watching this edition of alternative programming. Next week, we're doing the Dragon Quest and the Tekken franchise retrospectives. Thank you for watching this video as always. Catch you next time.